Hello everybody and welcome to Sean's Color Dissolve Shader. This is a cool tool I made quite recently that lets you, um, well, lets you do this. Lets you create a bunch of real-time dissolve effects or disintegration or materialization or however you want to describe it. Cool, pretty colorful effects like the ones you can see on your screen now. It costs about $5 from itch.io and you can also buy it on the marketplace and it supports GameMix Studio 2 and GameMix Studio 1.x. Comes with a couple of super easy to use scripts that let you just kind of set it up and, and do this effect however you want to with uh, different colors, different sprites, different masks and lets you do all sorts of cool pretty effects. If you're one of my tier 3 Patreon supporters, I think that's the people spotting over $20, um, you get this for free because that's one of the perks of being my Patreon supporters, you get everything everything I make that's commercial for free. Um, so you can go over to uh, itch.io and you can, and you can link, it up, link up your account to your Patreon account and you can get access to this free of charge. And before you all ask, yes I might do a tutorial on setting this up yourself in the future, um, but for now, um, I've got this tool that you can just buy and you can just do it. And I spent a lot of time making super easy to use scripts and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up and use this um, just in the way you get it when you buy it from me. So here's my little demo object. I've just put one in the room for the sake of setting this up. Uh, this guide uses GameMix Studio 2, but the process is exactly the same in GameMix Studio 1.x, okay? So you can just follow along and it'll be fine. Okay, so dissolve amount equals zero, just in the create event, that's just going to be the value I use to vary how dissolved we want our thing at any given time. Okay, um, I'm just going to vary it between 0 and 1 for, for fully dissolved and, and not fully dissolved, okay? Uh, before I can actually use the shader, I have to call a script that sets it up. I mean, you could do all this manually, but I've built a script just to make it really easy. So dissolve settings, and that'll turn yellow. Um, you can see at the bottom everything it asks for, so it asks for a mask sprite and a mask frame. So that determines exactly how your sprite is actually going to dissolve. So if I go up here, um, we can see I've got these different black and white sprites, and you can remember from the bit in the intro kind of how things were dissolving. This determines how how they dissolve in what sort of pattern, okay? Um, the, black, uh, the black bits will disappear first and the white bits will disappear last, okay? So you can just think of it that way and design all kinds of different fancy patterns and effects. We'll go ahead and use this one, Dissolve 4, like the circular one, okay? So it'll fade sort of out from the middle. Okay, so that's a S Dissolve 4. So S Dissolve 4, uh, Mask Frame 0, that's just in case, I don't know, you were doing an animated one or you had multiple masks uh, in one sprite on different frames. Uh, one important thing to note is that uh, the mask must be the same size as well. So this is 30 by 44 and my hut sprite is 30 by 44, okay? They're exactly the same. So, once you've done that, um, we need an inner color, so I'm gonna go with C uh, red for the inner color, and the outer color to be C orange. These are the colors you use, um, these are the colors that, uh, that, that show up around those edges, okay, and create that kind of burning, sort of disintegration look, okay? Edge thickness determines how thick that edge actually is, so you can like make it really wide or you can make it really thin, just however you want it to look. You can even set it to zero and that gets rid of the color entirely, so it'll just sort of dissolve as a sprite. But we'll set it to say uh, 0.2. Again, it's another value that's gotta be between 0 and 1, okay? 1 being like the whole sprite, um, which would look kind of weird, but you can do that. Um, or zero, which is, is, is no width at all, okay? So it's like a percentage. Okay, and that's all of that script. So just end that with the semicolon, and then that's it. That's all you have to do to set it up. And then just in the draw step, now you can ignore this. This is just uh, something I've done to, to wave the dissolve amount between one and zero for the sake of the demo. It's just, you can work that out however you want, do what, whatever maths you want to do, however you want to animate it. Um, you just have to move it between one and zero to get it to do the dissolve. Um, so now I'm just gonna actually draw the sprites, oh and yeah, the stuff at the bottom is just drawing text to show how much of it is dissolved, but actually drawing it is super simple, I just type dissolve, shader, okay, and that sets the shader, uh, draws the sprite, and then unsets the shader again, okay, so it does everything for you. So the sprite is just going to be sprite index, just whatever the sprite of this object currently is, the frame is going to be the image index, whatever frame I'm currently on, so that we can animate the sprite as well. Uh, X and Y for the position we're going to draw it to, and remaining is dissolve amount. So that's how much uh, of the sprite we, sh uh, we want to dissolve based on the mask. Okay, simple as that. So now if I run that, we should see just in the middle of our little room, 
Uh, this comes up and it's doing a little circle dissolve there, okay? Fading from red to orange, those are the two colors we set. I could change those to anything else. In fact, I'll even demonstrate as well if I just set edge to be uh, zero, edge thickness to zero, it'll still dissolve, but it just won't have any color effect on it, okay? So you can see there, it's working without any kind of color effect. Initially, this only worked on pixel art, but I've changed it, um, I, I updated the shader, so it now also works with anything that actually has some alpha and transparency in it as well. Um, so you can experiment and, and and see what works for your game and what or what kind of effects you can come up with. Okay, thanks. As I said, I might do a tutorial on doing this in the future because I did uh, I did that with another thing, like I made that slopes asset, but I also did like a tutorial on how to do it, and I still found people bought the thing if they didn't want to watch the whole tutorial. So I might still do a tutorial in the future, but it'll be a little while yet because um, I've got a lot of stuff to do. But for now, if you want to use this thing, you can just pop over to HIO, buy it for $5, or you can even buy it from the marketplace, links in the description. Or if you're a Patreon of mine, a patron supporter of mine um, above uh, the third tier, you'll get it for free, because they get everything I make for free. Okay, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.